All right, losers. Buckle up. This was on the list, and I'm getting it off the list. Match King to the Stranger. Lineup. Cut. If you were here for the last stream, somebody linked this right before I ended stream, and I said I'd do it. And I was thinking, I've got to do this, and now we're going to do this. Let's see, let's see how much chat knows. You clearly have multiple degenerates in party here. You know, let's go. Confidence or just that? I have this and then the paws and the tail. Does the tail clip on or does it stick in? <laughs> oh my god! That's a real question. This person right here, gender indeterminate, is as evidently a furry without the fursuit. Like, it doesn't make a difference. The fursuit being present has absolutely no bearing on how evidently a furry they are. It's on a belt. Okay. Hello. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know what you're doing here today? I know I'm guessing something, but that's all I know. Do you have a kinky side? I have a wild side, yeah. You got any kinks? Any kinks? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Like, how freaky do you get in the bed? Are these, like, famous shorts? I feel like I've seen these. Also, before this guy answered, I don't think so, I was gonna say I don't think so either. I don't know, you can get a vibe, right? Toys, feathers, whips kind of thing. Are we doing this on camera right now? <laughs> first of all, buy me dinner first, dear God. I was asked to try this blood play once. Vampires are sexy and I'm super into that. Sure, but the blood, eh. So today, you're going to match kink person. Work. Am I gonna have a list of kinks? You are. These are the, uh, the kinks that you're gonna be matching to individuals today. Okay. We've got making out. Okay. Se seems like kind of a... Seems like a very difficult thing to... Like, you... Okay. Like, how do you determine which one really likes making out? Okay. Um, asphyxiation. Great. Uh, electric play. I feel like you can tell if a person's into electric play by looking at them, right? I don't know. I feel like there's something there. Pregnancy. Okay. Maybe. Knife play. And pet play, okay, pet play has to be the easy one to find out. Okay, we're, well, we're gonna, we're gonna take our shot, okay? We're gonna see what we can do. Okay. Making out is confusing, that's a kink. The fifth one is a weird spelling of British. Ah, yeah, people with, um, people with, uh, 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 you know, who like knife play, just go over to, um, the bad parts of London and just, um, accuse other men of looking at me bird, and then everyone just stabs each other to death. Uh, it, it, it's, it's pretty much like Mecca for the knife play fetishists. Bosh, what is that, like, electric therapy? No, like, they put the anode and the diode on your balls, and they electrocute your balls. Um, I, I, I actually have, because, um, because at university, you know, I knew gay people, which means invariably I knew at least one person with a dick taser. Um, I, Jeff Holiday did tase his balls um, while I was on live stream with him for the thousandth uh, Drunken Peasants episode. I was right next to him when he did that. Uh, but that's that's unrelated. What is related is that I did one time feel one of those like shock collars, you know, like I put it on my arm, like the the bit that touches you or whatever. And uh, it's I don't know, guys, it's pretty uncomfortable. I don't know, just doesn't feel that good. It's not like crazy painful, but yeah, I don't know, don't like it that much. That was with YMS, right? Yeah, that one time. Wasn't that the same live stream? Wait, did I do it in that live stream? Oh, I guess I did. Well, I did it back in college too. I like to make out. Asphyxiation. You know what I mean? No. It's like breath play. I think that's kind of hot. Electric play. That sounds like it could be a good time. Pregnancy. I don't know who would pick this. Pregnancy, that's where you lose me. Do your thing. As long as there's consent, right? Knife play seems like... No one consents to being born. Wild as shit. I don't know if he's scared to do any of that. Pet play. Can you explain what this is? It involves being a pet. Role playing in outfits? Yeah. Interesting. Immediately the first thing that came into my mind is like having sex and then like your pet's in the room and your pet might get involved. Okay, when everybody- who, who here's into zoophilia? They could, they could do this, this, okay. Uh, listen, if Cut implements this without giving me credit, okay? Um, I'm going to uh, sue them, all right? And it's called Find the Pedophile. We bring six Discord moderators into the studio and uh, you get to ask them uh, 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 five questions uh, each. And then you, you know, you sort of, you, you, you make your call, you know? Of course, the, the bit is that each time it's all of them. So, you know, and they're all like, ah, you know, and they, when they find out, like, ha ah, you know. Ready? Head on out there. Hello. 
put I'm trying to put two and two together. <laughs> How you guys doing? Good. Good. <laughs> Hi. Hey. What's your name? I'm Rez. Anton. Nice to meet you. Can you give me a 360? Let me get a full full turnaround. Okay. Okay. Just just sort of throwing darts in the dark here, but is there some kind of parallel gene that makes trans women also like the tallest humans on earth? I guess I should say like trans femmes or whatever. Sort of a, a remarkable. We already know this one's the pet player. Well, you could be a furry without being into pet play, right? So people are mad. Um, Can you say this word for me? Asphyxiation. Mm. You're already giving me that with the choker vibe. You have a lot of stuff happening around your neck. That's oh, what. wait, I didn't, e I'm sorry, wait, I didn't see the collar. Yeah, pet play seems like a pretty... I'm really, like, getting me right now. What is your sexual orientation, if you don't mind me asking? Pansexual. Ob I have a girlfriend. Ob ob obviously. She, can, you, can, you, can you imagine if they were like, oh, yeah, I'm straight? No, you're not. Shut up. Friend and a boyfriend, if that helps at all. Right now, currently? <laughs> right now, right now, currently. Oh. Play at risk. Do you play video games at all? I'm a really big horror nerd. In said horror games, what is uh, your weapon of choice? The more unconventional stuff, when they like put like a chainsaw on the end of like a big pole or something like that. <laughs> How long have you had your kink? About three to four years. Is there like movies or books that you read that inspired you for? Dude, if they could get like the horse thing as a thing, I would be such a good ent entrant into this. You know what I mean? Like I'd just be standing there, and the 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 interviewer would look at me, and they they would like, yeah, and I'd be like, what? Because they because they would like know beforehand. They'd be like saying like, well, which one of these guys likes horses? You know? <laughs> what what? what? For this. Honestly, it was more hearing about experiences that like internet friends have had. This is really hard. Uh... So the collar gives me pet play. Like you might like to be like walked on a leash or something like that. Okay. Like you might enjoy that, or you might enjoy doing that to other people. Okay, let's test this. This person is not a top. This person is a bottom. See that and the, the way they bounce on their heels when they talk. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. So pet play feels like the obvious one, but it almost feels like too obvious. You know what I mean? I think I would say it's either I would say it's either pet play or knife play. That would be my guess. What's up? What you mean? I don't want to be wild. I'm good. Oh I'm, I'm good. Pet play. Knife play for sure. Go ahead. Dang, all right. <laughs> all right. Next victim. Uh, you gonna give me a 360 as well? All right, okay. You're just so chill. Is that motherfucking Conyer? Really, Conyer? I was just thinking the same thing. Let me see. Do you like pain? <laughs> um, no, nah, it's, o it's only, it was only from profile. Yeah, like on a scale from one to 10, like a solid 10. Okay. You said high school, you were basically like- I was like the outcast. Like the I lone was wolf like, kind of joint. Not really, like I had my own like group of like artistic friends who mm -hmm. just kind of like didn't fit in with the popular kids, I guess. How about your hobbies? What do you like to do? Uh, I'm a big writer, but I'm also like into film and stuff. What kind of film? Yeah, knife play seems like a good one for this. The flannel shirt, it, knife play or choking, but I think this one's a top. Um, the, the flannel shirt, uh, uh, d denotes serial killer energy, um, which, which, you know, you have to place with the appropriate kind of violence they want to use. Uh, we just filmed a horror one, so that was pretty cool. If you were going Pornhub right now, okay. what is the category that you would go to? What is knife play? Do you just stab who you're banging? You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, you just do that. Yeah. Squirting video. <laughs> It's not bad, I just I recently mean, discovered it. That's what I'm, I'm, not, I'm not judging. Those are cool. I like those. Just based on those answers, it really has nothing to do with what they look like. This segment gives me real bad energy. Whoa, what's up? We're chilling. Whoa, it's cool. We're good. It's all good. Electric play. I am going to take a guess that you're into knife play. Mm. Excitement of the... Ah, oh, look at the, the nod. The nod, too, you know. Being in a horror movie. Knife play. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> How are you today? I'm good. How are good. you? Good. I love the black lipstick. And I love your hair. Thank you. How experienced are you with King Play? I've been part of the BDSM community for about 15 years. Oh damn. Okay. Well that well that narrows it down right there. Okay. Well hold on. Do you like pain? Yes. Oh my god. Do you like being choked or choking? Yes. 
Both. <laughs> wait, but the wait, but that's just the I'm answer. Go with though. pet play. You can just uh, pass that over. Yeah. The three earrings are a vibe. No, uh, they are. Yeah, you're definitely pet play. Did you hear that? I'm giving you electric play. You look like you might like low key be dominant. And you might want to be in control of the possibility of torturing somebody. My guess is as, asphy asphyxiation and knife play goes the last one. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Next. Izzy, what do you have left? I have electricity. Does electricity work when you're that fat? Do the do the the does the current even make it through a nerve? <laughs> just shut the fuck up. I'm just imagining that like <laughs> you're so stupid. Oh my god. It's 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 like it's like how your gigantic uncle gets drunk and like tackles the cop and the taser does nothing. Bro, fat people can feel shit. Holy shit, it was a joke. Calm down. Ah, people are gonna be tetchy here because we're talking about a personal subject. Ah, fine, fine. I'll reel it in. I'll reel it in. It's fine. Making out asphyxiation and pregnancy, and it's about to get really weird really quick. I just the pregnancy <laughs> one's freaking me out, man. I do have what? one it's... more on my list that I'm trying to knock out. The pregnancy kink. What is your sexuality? Gayer than <laughs> New York. Really? Really? You don't say. This this person's appearance is like um is like a is like the a magnet to women, but like the same end. Like there's, I could never, like, can you imagine walking down the street and just seeing like this person and like a Stacy or something? No shot. Bottom and in the hands of a guy. Okay, all right, word, okay. What do you want my neck? I like it. Is it chokeable? <laughs> <laughs> Does your kink get in the way of finding a partner? Not romantically, it gets in the way sometimes sexually. Does it preg. Calling it right here, M Preg. They come up all the time, or do you have to like tell them uh, first before you like get freaky with them? Like it's kind of a must for me. This doesn't happen. Whoa, wait. Okay, I don't. I don't know if you could make M Preg a must. Cause it could it be? Do you think like the making out? Um, how's making out a kink? What the? F it's a whole. It's it's. Like and then I'm like, I can't. Oh, wow. Out. Okay. Yeah. You know what you really want. But like, to be fair, like, isn't making out like necessary for you as well? Like, I, I wouldn't want a partner who I couldn't make out with. I don't know. So that, that kind of like legitimizes it being a, a necessity for him. I don't know. Yeah. It's like advanced making out. I don't get the making out kink. I mean, some people are more into it than others, right? I mean, this, this does free up the pregnancy kink, which I think fits most with the chick wearing the literal trad wife dress on the side here. Like, I, I'm thinking about it, that does kind of feel like like a, like a gimme, you know? It, it, it's sort of like a lock-in from the beginning. Um, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go with electric play. Cool. What would you rate yourself as a kisser? Like, on a scale of one to 10? Nine or 10? That's actually like hella high. What do you rate yourself? Oh, I, I'm a 10. I know I'm a 10. Yeah. Where do you meet people that you like to do kinky things with? Grinder. Okay. Tender. Okay. I'm gonna go with making out for you because you're not meeting like pregnant women on Grinder, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, style. I mean, let's do the thing. Yeah, we can do it, yep. <laughs> I was gonna assume- this is, my, this is my favorite homosexual fashion right here, which is where you can't tell if you're at a white nationalist rally or at the gayest part of town until you spot like the, the buttons or pins they're wearing. It's a very specific, you know, like it no really though it's it's like if you just like looked really quick it's like like you just wait wait hold on wait where am I you know but then it's like okay well, what are they wearing where where what are the accessories you know um yeah this this guy's going all out though not just the suspenders but the fucking cane and those sh look at those shoes dude clown shoes if his laces were red he'd be fast yeah it's lit it's just the laces right there the the thin line the thin yellow line why are you showing the socks. This is obviously like a very specific kind of fashion that we can't understand or even fathom. Gay, just because of the... Okay. The, because the... only gay people like rainbows. No, but a lot more gay people are promoting... Not promoting, but they're... Am I promoting being gay? No, you're not promoting me. <laughs> wait, wait. Yes, you are. You don't don't give him shit. Yes, you are. You are not just being gay. You are promoting being gay. You are a billboard for homosexuality. Don't you? You're you're giving you're giving him you're giving him a little goofy time there. I see I see you. <laughs> yeah, I don't see a lot of straight people like 
Oh no, he's falling for it. Rainbows as much. Yeah. I'll okay. say that. All right, all right. Do you like pain? I love giving it. Okay. I don't really like receiving it. Well, that is concerning. Hey, what, 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 you're in a, you're in a, you're in a kink talk. Well, what, do, what do you, what do you think we're here for? <laughs> well, that's really okay, but, that, yeah. There you go. Yeah. I don't think that your kink is pregnancy. Okay. I also don't think that her kink is pregnancy. If, fool. Buffoon. You fool. Between what I got left, it means I got something wrong. You got two choices left, and I'm leaning towards making out. It's gonna be making out. You want them to lay on you and then- Really? This, this guy is like the most visibly queer person here. I, I I don't know if you'd you'd assign the hmm. You yeah, lay me down and, yeah. yeah and take advantage of you. Exactly. Hi. All right. Um damn you're gonna get pregnancy. <laughs> All I have left is yeah. well it's a six foot tall girl walks up to you. You look down at your clipboard. Damn you're getting pregnant, huh? She's smiling. You have a very nice neck. Do you do you like pain? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. The pain okay, of childbirth. Meow, you guys are freaky. Yeah. Where would you grab me? Can I? I'm, su I'm surprised. I'm surprised by this chick's apparent aversion to kink, because usually the pink hair is kind of like um, like a signal flare being 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 shot off. You know, on like, yeah, it's it, which, is, which is interesting. Touch you? Absolutely. I will focus on this. Maybe. Oh, this, this is her kink for sure. That was hot. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> have you ever been with anybody you know how i know i'm not a bottom and how all the predictors have been wrong one time while i was with a person that i was sleeping with they did put their hand around my neck kind of unexpectedly and it's just so dumb you guys are so stupid for enjoying it i was having a nice time breathing and then i had a harder time breathing what the f that's it's so fucking stupid i was just chilling there and then I could, couldn't breathe as good. What the f- what? Uh, Oh, dude, this is so hot. Now I have to inhale harder. What the f***? Somebody who's pregnant. Not that I know of. Have you ever been pregnant? No. <laughs> um, I, don't I need air to breathe. Pregnancy is going to be your king, but we're going with pregnancy. <laughs> Why is this so- uh, Okay, well, you know, whatever. I could be wrong with all of them. Okay. I learned a lot today. With a show of hands, who did Izzy guess correctly? Okay, good luck. Well, I don't remember. Oh shit! Okay. What was what? Okay. Oh. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got knife play and pet play. Well, I don't remember. Wait. My, uh, All right. So I guessed yeah. pet play. Yep. You were right, and I was right. Yeah. Woo! We did you a check. You have a color situation. You have a bunch of pets on your shirt. I should have <laughs> really paid attention. So what inspires you? to do pet play. Part of it is the headspace. Since I'm into be- Oh, this is a, oh, this is a good hint for anyone who's getting into dating, okay? If a person has any imagery of a sphinx cat anywhere on their person, like a, a pin or a button or whatever, they like anal. Um, just, uh, just a hot tip for you guys. You can thank me later. The pet with someone, like I mostly do it with my girlfriend. When we're in bed, she'll have like a collar and leash on me and... Have you ever worn like a furry suit when you're doing the pet play? I've never worn a fursuit during pet play. Those are expensive. I don't want bodily fluids on that. Huh? I do have a fursuit. Is it okay? <laughs> do you want to put it on? Um... <laughs> are you releasing a shirt with your cat in it? Yeah, but I'm not wearing it. You guys are going to wear it. I'm just kidding. I'll wear it. And I do like it being done to other people. Sure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't want to be a good furry. Enjoy it, I guess. <laughs> you want to try the fursuit? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to see it on you. So do you have a full outfit in this or just that? I have this and then the paws and the tail. Does the tail- Yeah, no shit. You're not getting any torso or legs. You have far you have to stretch them. This bitch is tall. That shit, fursuits are already expensive, man. Um, that's gotta suck. Imagine being like the four foot nine furry or whatever. You know, you can just sort of squat in a barrel and they can just sort of attach fur to it. Clip on or does it stick in? Oh my God. That's a real question. It looks on a belt. Okay. So do you change your voice? When I go to furry cons, yeah, I do. Okay. How do you dry clean this? Most people with fursuits don't f*** in their fursuits. Fursuit, first of all, it's hard to f***ing 
fursuit because they're pretty bulky. And second of all, these things can cost like thousands of dollars. So, and they are a pain in the ass to clean. So they do not, yeah. There are some people who do, but overwhelmingly, I think they don't. Initially thought pet play was like, your legit pet being involved, so. Oh no, 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 yeah. no. What exactly is pet play? I typically only do it with like my partners. Uh, one person in like the owner position and one mm -hmm. person in the pet position. Okay, like, I mean, yeah. You there are a lot of other kinks I'll engage in and like friends with benefits stuff, but pet play I got like, no. Chick who says that she's into pet play and asks you tentatively if you'd be okay with her being your cat girl and you say yes, and the moment you say yes, she gets the zoomies and she on all fours bolts off the bed, headbutts the door on the way out of the bedroom, skitters across the hardwood floor, rams into the wall on the far side, um, and then um, climbs into your sink and shits her st <laughs> That's exclusive. Yeah, that's exclusive. Okay, word, word, word. okay, what did I say? Shock play. <laughs> okay, and that was wrong. Yes. So knife play. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, chat! Is there blood or is it just knife yeah, play? Yeah, so that's a really good question. Like, you don't need to, like, physically cut someone for it to be considered knife play. Like, you can just kind of, like, run it along them or, like, rip your shirt off with it. This turns you on. Like, if someone, like, came at me with a knife and just, like, sliced my shirt open. Like a stranger. No, I would never, like, do uh, edge play with just- like, like me, right now, he says, drawing the blade. It's like a hookup or someone that I haven't really known that well. It needs yeah. to be someone that I, like, can trust. I don't know, just someone, like, grazing it along you. Oh, wait, that's kind of hot! Yeah, so wait a minute! Like, How many times have you done this? Alright, lads. We've, we've got a new icon of masculinity to emulate. She tells you she's into knife play. You put on your mask and rip, get out the rapier. In a flurry of slashes, you 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 cut at every uh, angle. She comes instantly. Z, ah, yeah, tragic. Knife play once or twice. Kind of like a thing that I'm saving for kind of the right person. Oh. So if you like see a knife in a kitchen, somebody's like slicing some veggies. You're <laughs> okay, I love this question. It's adorable. Um. I could get blown the fuck out right now, because this person could just say, yeah, that does turn me on, but this is like the equivalent of coming out to a friend by saying you're gay, and then they're like, oh, does that mean you jerk off in the mirror? Like, that, that's, you know, maybe, maybe she's about to say, yeah, I fucking love watching people cut carrots, you know. They're like, yeah. no. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. Um, maybe. I think it depends on the context. That's passionate. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> I'd be into that. So I was completely wrong. My kink is electrical play. Oh, okay. This is what I'm most... All right, chat. You've got me on this one. It's because of her natural immunity that she... <laughs> no. Curious about, because I feel like I would <laughs> low-key be really into this. What I have today is a violent wand. Deals with uh, current on, like, your skin. So you don't have current going through your body. Um, that's usually, like, a TENS unit. I've seen those used for kink play. Not something that I've tried yet. Would you like to see yes. it? Yes! And then we ought to use it. It looks like a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> You'll hear it immediately when I turn it on. Ah, I love that! <laughs> you can hear it. Like, I promise, like, that doesn't hurt. It's, for anyone who hasn't gotten shocked, it's actually a really weird feeling. I do own one of those electric massage things. Like, um, like it's, it's basically like you're tasing yourself, but it's such a low current. I think low ampage? Um, or is it voltage? Wait, guys, would it be low ampage or low voltage? Or is it low both? Low, low I'm getting both. Let's just say it's low on both. Um, high volt, low amp? Okay, I don't, I don't know anything about electrical engineering. Uh, any, anyway, anyway, um, you like, um, you like get your neck with it and it just like, sort of, I, I don't know, buzz stimulates the muscles or something? I don't know, it feels kind of weird. I, I actually, I bought it before I had stream money. I didn't have much money at the time, and I got shanghaied into buying it while at Anime Expo back in like 2018 or something. Like I was down there, I gave myself a $500 allowance. This is like the only thing that I spent money on frivolously was conventions. Um, and I dropped like 80 on that. And I still have it somewhere in the house, but I would, I would probably, if I wanted to do that again, I'd probably get a more expensive one. I don't know. It was kind of nice, though. It just feels like... Oh. Feel it? 
I mean, why not? I got metal on me. I'm not gonna like burn. Oh no 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 no. no. Oh, that's not crazy. It's really nice because you can choose the kind of sensation. If you just kind of want to tickle someone with it, you can. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, th I think one of the benefits of the electric play thing for like hurting people is that you can literally mathematically control how much they get hurt, right? Like if you're into knife play or like getting smacked around or whatever, you can't like precisely control how hard or where you smack someone around because you know, you, you, you're, a, you're of finite athletic ability. Um, whereas with this, you literally have like a dial with like the number of ouch you're delivering to them, you know? It goes higher? Oh, it goes... So yeah, sure, uh, totally. Let's go the highest. It is pretty intense. Feels like when a tattoo needle first touches you. Well, I have some attachments that people said feel like knives cutting on them. They can yeah. get oh, you. I like that. <laughs> she, she she's like gonna walk away from this with like 60 new things she wants to try or whatever like she came in here yeah she's like she was like oh, that's concerning that you like hurting people she's gonna walk away being like can i do you think i could get my boyfriend to like break my arm or something yeah i'm happy for her too <laughs> I, I i respect her journey wait a minute <laughs> i like that thank you thank you awesome thank you now it's the fun part, because I got y'all right. Okay, so your kink is making out. Yes. I need to know what that means. Thought we all like to- Wait, did we get that? Was that our get? I think we got that. Didn't we get that? I think we got that, yeah. Okay, yeah, f yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm three for four. But you guys mostly called the electrocution with the lady. So you guys are four for four, I think. Make out. I didn't realize that was like a kink. I'm talking long yeah. make yeah. out session. Oh, it's okay. like, I yeah. can go like yeah. three, yeah. four hours. Yeah. Like, Damn. Yeah. Do you have like a chapstick yeah. break? Yeah. Like I just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can get okay. pretty tiring sometimes. For me, it's more of a like the connection with the person uh -huh. rather than like feel like actually... That's why I like yeah. making out. I love making out because I... You I'm... guys were asking, how do you make making out a kink? Well, there you go, guys, because I don't want to make out with anyone for three hours. I have got things to do in my life, but I'm not making out with someone for three hours. <laughs> this time, nope, you know. But I'm, I'm glad that he likes it that much. I love the connection. It's way more intimate than like penetration. Like you'd be happy if it just like the date ended in just that, you're cool with that. Yeah, I think that's true, right? Man, maybe maybe this is my bias or whatever, but like, I don't, when, when I'm when I'm someone, I don't really think of that as like intimacy. Like, it's like, woo, my dick feels good. Making out with someone's pretty fucking intimate. Your face is literally touching their face, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess like, if you're if you're like fucking someone while making out with them, I feel like the making out part is like the more intimate part than the fucking part. Because if I took my dick out and I was just on top of them kissing them, that would still feel really intimate. But if I was just fucking them like with my torso way away. Then I, I would just be like, ah, oh, yeah, dude, my dick feels so good right now. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. That's the noise that I make when I'm about to come. Sorry. I've hit climax with it. So. Oh, word. Yeah. Oh, okay. I hell yeah. Did not expect that. All right, word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tommy me on guard. Next question. Why did you say New York over San Francisco? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, just, you're kind of right on that one. Yeah, I, I'm just curious. Yeah. Uh, New York just came to my mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And next. Let's talk about it, because I'm most curious about the pregnancy one. Um, what do you want to know about it? What's the deal? Okay, I don't think we called this one at all. Sorry. We lose on this one. I mean, I like pregnant people. No, I get that, but like... <laughs> I'm just curious, like, what that entails. When I'm around someone who's, like, showing pregnant, I tongue, like, just bleh, Like, literally, it's over. All right. Hell, hell yeah. <laughs> I was, I was so prepared for the pregnancy from the, from the, the trad wife that I was getting ready to make jokes on that. I don't have jokes for this. It's really happening just thinking about it. That's fucking yeah, wild. It's, it's, I really it's think. Nuts, um, have you talked to a therapist about this? Not even in a bad way, but okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I talked okay. to all of my okay. therapists about this. Word. When did you know you were into this? I would say I discovered a lot of my kinks around like my late teens, so like 15, 16, 17. So when you were like 16, you were actively looking for pregnant women to fuck? No. When I would see. You, wait, quick question. Do you think like. Okay, I could be totally off on this, but I feel like back like just 200 years ago and all time before that, 
seeing pregnant women happened all the time, right? Like, it had to. Because a lot of these women would have, like, 12 kids. Like, these chicks are pregnant, like, all the time. But nowadays, I can go, like, months without seeing a pregnant person. Like, I can go and do a whole day of errands. I don't see any pregnant people. Because nowadays, like, pregnant people f f can chill in their house boxes, and they they wear clothing that, like, hides that they're pregnant early on, you know? Um, and if they do work, it's usually in office jobs, not um, not outdoors. So, do you think maybe pregnancy is more or less fetishized now that it's, like, hidden from public view, kind of? Do you think that would make it more or less fetishized? More? Yeah, I think maybe... I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it'd go either way. I'm leaning towards more, though, I think. See someone pregnant, it made me feel that tingle inside, like that excitement. And stronger than most things. I have a daughter. When my girl was pregnant, I think there was more times that I was like looking at her pregnant where I was like, damn, you are like kind of sexy. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't make me want to yeah. like, you know, smash or nothing like that, but it was sure. like, I, just she really looked beautiful. really, yeah, yeah, really good, beautiful, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Damn, I might yeah. have this. Wait, guys, he's just saying that when his wife was pregnant. No, no, guys, you misunderstood. He's referring to when his daughter was the fetus. He's saying when his what his wife was pregnant with his daughter, that he found his wife beautiful, which is I which which is actually quite a nice sentiment. Okay, yeah, I no no I agree. He phrased it weird. I agree, I agree. It took me a second, but that is what he's saying. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yes. Poof. Um, yeah. Um, personally, I find <laughs> I find pregnancy. Very off-putting. Not in like a bad way or whatever. It's just, it's just weird. It's weird. It's just, it's why, what's up? There's a fucking fetus in there floating around. It's just a little weird, you know? Maybe I would be, maybe I would think it was more normal if I was a chick or if I had like spent any appreciable length of time around a pregnant person, but I have never spent any length of time around a pregnant person, like ever. I've never had like a friend, roommate, partner, family member that I was just chilling out around. I guess except for my mom when I was four years old and my younger brother was incubating but i was four so didn't really care i don't know yeah i don't know i can't claim you're about to have a second kid <laughs> <laughs> i don't want kids i absolutely do not want kids fascinating yeah no it's, it's the process that really does it for me you know like like i've gone through a lot of trauma and and therapy and mm. like it would be a child raising a child do you like what what, what? I don't, I don't think you need to go to therapy for having a pregnancy fetish. Like, if you think about it, pregnancy is like the... Li like, having a pregnancy fetish is like a having an orgasm inside of a vagina fetish. It's literally the f***ing point, right? Like, everything else is kind of like additional cultural context added onto the core of the human sexual experience, which is a penis coming in a vagina and somebody getting pregnant. <laughs> you know, um... Yeah, like, yeah, like, I don't know. It's sort of interesting. Um, breeding and pregnancy are different. Oh, that's true, that's true. Breeding and pregnancy are different kinks, right? It's fucking crazy how common a breeding kink is these days. I'm not fucking you bitches with the breeding kinks. I don't want to be a dad, okay? I'm not, I'm, the, it's like that. The, the, the people get hard when they talk about it. I'm not, you know, if I like, first of all, never do the pullout method ever. Don't do the pullout method. It's stupid. Don't be retarded. Okay. But if I like, if I was for some reason relying on the pullout method and then I'm like, oh, I'm about to come. And then she like wraps her legs around you. So you have to come in her or whatever. Like I, people, when, when people talk about that, it's like a, f a fantasy for them. It's like, oh, she wants your nut, dude. She wants to be impregnated by you. I would, I feel like if that happened to me, like before, I came when I felt her wrap, wrap her legs around me. I would like grab her legs and like swing her to the side, like a club that's anchored to me by the waist, and sort of like slam her against a wall or something. Like I would like I would like I would try to get rid of her the way like you would like a shark that's bitten onto your arm or something. <laughs> she was like, I don't want to, I don't want to be a dad. Get the fuck off me. <laughs> Just uh. uh <laughs> Doing doing this with a girl on birth control, and she does the leg wrap around just to like be sexy or whatever. And I I, I pile drive her into the um hardwood. No, Furman, I know it's a fantasy, but there are people who do actually want to get pregnant. It's not it's not entirely you know uh, unknown to happen. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, but it's not about being pregnant. I just want to come in. Well, that's fine. Then it's not breeding. Okay, whatever. Sex with pregnant people. Um, I would assume so. I've uh, never done it. Bro, yeah. it's fun. It's good. I mean, I can it's... only imagine. Wait, do you think this guy is actually straight? Do you think? Wait, do you think he wasn't with the black guy before? Do you think he's? Act oh God, wait. What? What if he's? What if he's the most visually confusing heterosexual on earth? That'd be incredible. I don't know how to tell you to try. I've, I've been it. trying to try it. I've been trying to try yeah. it. You gotta like get somebody's consent, mm -hmm. and that somebody else's. I kid, think he's had just and then right. Right. you're sticking your thing by the kid. Yeah, that might be kind of weird. Well, and so I mean, like I'm not monogamous. Like it's like you know partners, and you know nobody owns anybody. So mm -hmm. to me, it's like you know whatever. Hello, Miss Josie. I hear. God, dude, there are so many fucking... Okay, guys, are you ready? Okay, everyone knows that I don't like monogamy, okay? Are you ready for me to announce another thing that I hate? Non-monogamy. Holy fuck. <laughs> okay, there is a lot of completely undeserved bigotry against non-monogamous people, like actual fucking bigotry that I think is a problem. However, when people point out that non-monogamous people are fucking annoying and messes, they are completely on the ball with that. Holy shit. Oh my god. I just any time... Oh god, nothing. Just all right. Hey. <laughs> I misjudged you and I'm sorry. You just hate relationships. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's fine. I'm a fixation. Okay. How did you find out that you were into that? I got into a friends with benefits situation. We decided to explore our sexuality and he kinda just did it by accident and I was like, I like that. Do it again. Yeah. Oh, this is a lot deeper than just a simple choke during. This is like yeah. uh, mind if I show you how We do we get no, we 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 because we were guessing pregnancy. But she like wrapped her hands around the throat of the other girl. So she kind of signaled that. I don't know. By accident. Yeah, you know when you're like twisting around in missionary to like switch positions and you slip and you accidentally elbow drop them directly in the throat? Very popular um, sex move when done deliberately. It is. I guess, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Oh, I'm I promise I won't hurt you. Like, mm -hmm. okay. So you'd start to pain right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> She's an assassin. All right, remember when you're doing. Okay, you know how knife play is spooky? Nobody dies of knife play. People do die of asphy asphyxiation play. Be careful, okay? Stay woke. Remember, the thing you don't want to do is block off the uh, blood, because your brain needs oxygen. And there's arteries on the sides of the neck that you don't want to block off, because your body can go without you breathing air for a good long while. Um, but your brain cannot go without fresh blood, like, for any length of time at all. So, don't do that. Uh, there's, like, a way to do it where you try to, like, constrict the breath. Uh, I, I think a lot of people, they do it like this, right? Where you, like, like, like that, but you're not really putting pressure here. You're kind of, like, like, you have your thumbs out or something. Is that right? No, that's not right. I don't do choking play, really. No? Wait, let's look it up. No, that's bad, Vosh. Here, let's- we have to get the good lesson. We're trying to do this to keep people from dying. The chokehold? No, that's backwards? Oh, okay, wait, hold on. How to choke someone safely, sex, move, bazinga. How to use choking during sex according to sex experts. I trust these people with my life. This is words, not pictures. Show me a fucking picture, you- Fucking medium article. Well, I guess we're doing this now. This is the now a PSA. This isn't choking, you fucking idiots. I want to say, why would I choking their sex? How to find out if your partner likes choking? Three types of choking. Light choking, strangulation, prop choking. Okay. Take class. Light grip. Don't put pressure on the front of the neck. Don't break the windpipe. Oh no, focus on the sides of your partner's neck, just below the jawline. Oh wait, okay, so do the opposite of what I said. This is where the carotid arteries control oxygen-rich flow to your head and brain. Avoid constant prolonged pressure on your partner's neck. Better try pace cadence of gentle squeezes. Don't choke longer than 5 to 10 seconds. Reverse choke from behind. Know how to revive your partner if they pass out. Jesus Christ. 
You squeeze the arteries to make them feel like they're choking, not actually cutting off airflow. Well, cutting off airflow can be fun because you can go for minutes without breathing. I mean, you shouldn't, but like you can certainly go 10 seconds without breathing. I can go 10 seconds without breathing because I'm so cool and strong. But I guess it's you get the little arteries, but not the big arteries. You could crush their windpipe. Yeah, this is complicated by the fact that a lot of bottoms want you to kill them. Vosh, you're doing a retard moment? You guys are so f***ing offended right now. Sorry that I uh, don't participate in your degenerate kinks, and I'm learning it here, okay? Wow. Sorry, whenever, uh, whenever, people, um, whenever people ask me to choke them during sex, I just, um, I just put my hand on the back of their head when they're sucking my dick, okay? I know my, uh, my area of expertise. Your bad advice will kill 50% of your bottom chatters. Okay, is that is that a bad thing, though? Um, okay. Oh, this is a good article. Okay, what not to do. Do not listen to politics streamers when learning about the dangers of risky sex play. That's really specific. Okay. Okay, gotcha. All right. We'll go with that. <laughs> like she's about to just be like, wow! How far have you taken it before? I want to feel pain. I kind of have like a safe move that I'll tap the person's chest. Okay. But I want to literally grasp for air. Is it a necessary part? Like, do you have to have that to get off? Do you have to have that for it to be good and all that kind of stuff? I prefer to have it every single time, but not- She's scared me. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> <laughs> she speaks really soft, but like how she did that and how she's like, the intense eye contact, like if she wanted to, she could really end my shit. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, but whatever. Anyway. He's rationalizing being rock hard right now. I think she's very cute too. Do you like choking people too, or do you only like being yes. choking yourself? Yes, I like both, but I've found that most men don't like receiving it. Yeah, they just dumb. want to give. Why do you think most men don't like receiving it? They're pussies. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Nothing else like around your neck? No. Just a hand? Yeah, just for now. Nice meeting yeah. you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that was gonna stick with me for a minute. That was exciting. I didn't realize how into a almost of all of them were, except for like two. That was good. We all learned a lot today. We all learned a lot of important stuff today. Watch more. Okay, I'll do one more. That was a lot of fun. I'll do one more. Uh, let me find another one. You're a pussy for not wanting to be judged. I'm sorry. I've just, I've never derived any sexual interest whatsoever from even the slightest physical inconvenience, okay? If I'm, if I, if you've just spent 40 minutes sucking my dick and you're laying down in the bed and I'm walking over to you and I stumble lightly over like a discarded belt on the ground, I instantly go soft and close the door and leave and go play video games. The slightest inconvenience. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what if they're choking your dick though? Well, I'm saying I don't want to be choked. That's hot. Me me getting fussy over the belt. Uh, hold on. Dude, Cut puts out a lot of videos. Um, I guess I should sort by most popular. And then, like, try to see something that's kind of recent. Isn't it, like, super f***ed up that YouTube doesn't allow you to search based on two criteria, the way Google does? Like, why can't I search most popular time frame within one year? Why don't they do that? It's literally the biggest social media site on the planet. Why? Okay. There's another Guess the Kink video with sounding. Is it all different kinks, or is there just one different kink? Because if there's just one different kink, it's probably not... Okay, there's actually, there's actually a lot of different... Guess my kinks. Guess my kink Carlos. Guess my turn on. Okay, whatever. Get nah, f it, dude. We're doing this, then we're doing Brit Bonger. What does that say? Eat me? It says, eat Oh my no, they brought an old lady here. Yes. What does that say? Eat me? It says, eat my ass. That is something that does not float my boat. Hello. Hi, ah! I am Curtis. <laughs> I'm Rain. My name's Paula. Do you know what you're here to do today? Not exactly. You're gonna guess <laughs> what people's turn-ons. Just, just get her off the street, you know. Are. Guess their turn-ons. 
Curtis, what turns you on? I'm into the choking, the scratching. Good table manners or a turn on. I like big clits. There's a long list of choices. Fuck, oh, hell yeah. Six of the correct answers are on here. Submission, hands, grandma's grandpa's, here for that. Give me the grandpa. Pimple popping. <sighs> Harry Potter fanfic. Oh, pim I don't want Pimple Poppy to be on here. Oh, now, uh, uh, all right. Wait, they have they have gilfs on here, but we have a gilf doing the rating. Oh, shit, all right. Submission's pretty fucking broad, by the way. You can always spot a sub, right? So it's, you know, all right. Long tongues, hey. Married men, been there, done that. Man stink. Wait, no. there's more? Mm -mm. Nope. I'm seeing blood, which literally just made the back of my mouth like gleek. That is, I don't. Latex crisp stick of celery. Okay, I assume there's false positives in here. The, the, yeah, okay. Baby talk. Come, no, I would not want somebody to ejaculate all over me. Hello, you freaky little whores. <laughs> You guys look sweet. That's, I like how that's what she took issue with too. Like that's the, it's like, oh, come? Mm, okay. Yeah. Which is why I'm a little confused. <laughs> Cause these are freaking me out. First person, come on out. You have titty tats. <laughs> Ouch. You seem very sweet to me, which to me means you are a little freaky. When did this fetish or turn on start? All right. I want to be uncharitable just because this guy reminds me of guys that I saw in West Hollywood all the time. This person is extremely racist. There, I'm just dropping that. I'm just like like a fart in an elevator. I'm just leaving that one there. Okay, now that I've left it there, we're moving on. Art for you. Probably like late teens. Were you acting on this as a teenager? Yes. I feel like neck biting, cum. Those are all like things I could see a high schooler being into. Do you like pain, bondage? I prefer inflicting pain on other people, but I don't do it very often. Do you like pain? No, no. I don't like pain. There are too many to guess from though. There are like 20 things we could guess for. There's, there's no way you could get that down. You have a porn star face? I like that, thank and you. Like, <laughs> So I think I like her a lot, by the way. This lady, she seems very confident. I respect that. Nice, nice boob tattoos. You look like a porn star. <laughs> Phenomenal stuff. Get really into cum. I'll go with the blood. Was Paula right? No, it's cum. Where'd you get these people? <laughs> <laughs> she likes, she likes cum. Um, my goodness. Specifically, not on my face, no bukkake. I like it inside. It's like a, like a hug, and like you can feel like the warmness inside, and it's like a nice warmness. Have you ever been shamed? I think the only. What? Okay, to be clear, this is guess my turn on, not guess my kink. So maybe we're going for kind of like a lighter affiliation or whatever. Um, yeah, I I imagine a lot of people are turned on from having come in them. It's you know it's. I've noticed it's kind of a recurring um, interest. One thing I've ever been shamed for is like people assuming that like I do this without condoms with like anybody. But yes, I, I was going to say you need to wear your yeah. galoshes. <laughs> he needs to My wear galoshes. his galoshes. galoshes. Yes, you need to glove up, girl. It only takes uh, one. Hello, hello. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. What was your name? Jaime. Hola. Hola, como esta? Bien. <laughs> Poquito espanol. Muy bien, muy bien. Uh oh. Well, that's it now. <laughs> Do you find mm -hmm. pain and pleasure go hand in hand? Not for me. So you probably like the fucking crisp stick of celery or some really cool shit. Well, it's definitely not married men. <laughs> Why not? I believe this. <laughs> Her eyes lit up when she saw the crisp stick of celery. That's fucking cool. No way. He's gay. I can still be with married men. Yeah, I don't think so. Ask how he identifies. How do you identify? Actually, I identify as. Uh, oh, here we go. It's that long plethora of. What? Oh my God. Wait for it. Yes. I will. Let me get a chair. Homo romantic panse pansexual. I love all genders sexually, but dating wise, romantically, I'm only attracted to men. If that makes sense. Uh, sort of does. Yeah. Did you want? Oh, she, she's she's like oh okay. All right. Because she's a closeted lesbian. So she's like, um, he's like, you know. Okay. Give me a little sniff. Oh, he said yes. Okay. 
Ooh. Did you just like- All right. First of all, repulsive, and I hate, hate, hate this man. Second of all, that was extremely direct. Um, right there. That seems like the, what, what is it? Musk? Not must. Musk? That's the right one? Yeah. Like, get a little giddy, giving me a whiff. There's a little something. Okay, um, we're gonna go with man stink. Oh, yes, you're right. Okay, yay! You like it stinky down in the big gym in the twins? <laughs> I have to be I don't know how I'm watching this. Not, not, do I, I don't know why I'm watching I don't know how I'm watching this either. This isn't, this is insane. Are these all real people? These aren't actors? Okay. Be attracted to the person. He just went to the gym. Oh, yes. Don't shower, come over, and we'll oh. have a good time. No. <laughs> is there a difference between like after gym smell and like BO? Yes. Um, I don't want you not showered for a week. I want that very natural, like, he showered this morning, he went to the gym, and now we're gonna. I want he showered this morning, he went to the gym, he's coming back over and gonna hop into the shower, and then we can <laughs> hang out. <laughs> Hello. I also really don't care about how people smell in the sense that I care very much that they not smell. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this as smelling people. There is a difference between like the Musk and BO thing though, right? Because if people, people smelling bad and smelling like you've recently worked out are like two different things. Um, wasn't uh, Napoleon Bonaparte? He was a big, he was a stinky boy, or at least he liked his mistresses to be stinky. Wasn't, I think, didn't he like write a letter back to his wife? when he was at Waterloo or some shit, and he was like, don't wash your pussy for like a month. I think that's real. I don't think I'm even making that up. I think that's just, yeah, I, I yeah, I think that, I think, I think that's actually what happened. He made her wear the same underwear for months too. Damn. It's gotta get like kind of crunchy. I don't know. Hey, Pookie Boo, are you wearing a bra? Yes. You are? They jiggle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My I like are titties. these real people? <laughs> titties on the list for me. Do you like bondage? Yeah. I've often thought about having bondage and it'd be my luck. The guy would have a freaking heart attack and I'd be oh. stuck there. Would you never want to be? Oh, no, I don't think so. Here come the fire department. Hi guys, I'm Spread Eagle. Isn't this a nice picture? <laughs> Is it a little baby talk? Spank me, daddy. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, I fucking hate white gay bottoms, dude. Holy shit. Oh god. Oh god almighty. Yeah. No, like literally fucking spank. <laughs> okay, let's go with baby talk. I think she's into submission. You are correct. I do enjoy being submissive. Being tied up and having my partner be dominant and using toys on me and making me feel pleasurable. Good yes. girl. <laughs> Thank you. I don't even have anything to add to this. This is, this is already sort of naturally optimized comedy. I don't have anything to add. <laughs> this is like, how, who the fuck are these people? Who are these people? <laughs> Hello. Hello. You don't have eyebrows. Is that because you do drag? <laughs> okay, I'm calling it here. That lady is autistic. There is no fucking way. Every thought that enters her mind just instantly falls out of her mouth. Incredible. I love her. I have so much respect for her. I'd like to try, but I never got the chance to yet. How'd you lose them? They just got a little too close to the razor. What does that say? <laughs> eat me? It says eat my ass. That is something that does not float my boat. Don't come near me with your tongue there. <laughs> Do you like to have your anus licked? I'm almost I'm almost embarrassed that I have nothing to add. Okay, what what am I supposed to say to to compound on the, the comedy value of this? Yes. <laughs> Can you tell me? A couple of your favorite movies. One of them is a uh, uh, Train to Busan. Are you into wizards? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm interested in like you know fantasy and stuff. You this is not a Harry Potter guy at all. That's totally because that was one of the things Harry Potter fan fiction. This is not the the Harry Potter guy at all. My 
biting? Oh, uh, actually, yes. What? You interested in like, you know, fantasy and stuff. You like Biden? Oh, uh, actually, yes. I thought she said Biden, like Joe Biden. You like Biden too? Yeah, I like Biden, I like hickeys. And I'm a little dark too, so you gotta put a little effort in. I <laughs> it's true, giving hickeys to black people is harder. I think that you are into neck biting. You like a long tongue. I feel like you could be into Harry Potter fanfic. Was I wrong? I oh, you're clearly wrong, wrong yeah. <laughs> what was it? Uh, latex and rubber. Okay. I put on like a full like cat suit. It covers like from like my ankles all the way up to like my neck. And why? For me, it's like a way to kind of give myself a little anonymity, but also make myself look, you know, hot and sexy. How did you get into this? It, I, ca I just, I can't watch this without imagining me being the guy or whatever. And the, like they're going through the issue list, um, Harry Potter fan fiction, celery stick, horse cock. And then I'm, I'm talking there and, and they're like, okay, so why is it this? And I'm like, okay, listen, it's complicated. All right. Like, I can't imagine how I would explain that in the format of the show. Like, I don't know. Like, Okay, so I'm a big size queen. I like really big dicks, okay? So like, so, so you see, if I was the horse, the, and, and then the old lady is like, but you're not a horse, you're a human. And I'm like, I know that, I'm aware of that. It's a, it's a, it's a conceptual thing. It's not, I'm not, I'm not literally, it's, it's a fucking... It really became just a tangent off of other kinks I had. So where did it start? Uh, it was mainly like bondage and stuff uh, that I was really into. Is there like a hole for the wiener? <laughs> yeah, some of them can be made with holes. Does yours have like holes or do you I just, just has, like... It just has multiple zippers on it so I can oh. adjust around. Zippers and sex sound. Dang. It has it has a zipper hole, but it's only big enough for the, for the, 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 the cum shot, not for the dick itself. So you have to line the urethra up against it, and the the uniform black latex just sort just sort just sort of nuts forward. Dangerous. Well, it's locking zippers, so it doesn't move around. Oh, okay. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Are you straight or bisexual? Do you like older women? Yes, I do. <laughs> this is your shot, lady. Take your shot. This is both your shots. <laughs> Do you normally dress like this? Yes. Like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys just shoot your shot. You know what I'm saying? Are you older or into older or younger men? I like older or younger. I'm like, feel like grandpas. What makes you say that? I feel like you want someone with a little more experience. You're not- a whole, It's actually insane how like, Fucking giga chat she is. You all need to learn a, an important lesson here. Do you remember what I said about like directness is valuable as long as you have the social cadence to make people feel like they're not being pressured and they have an out? Okay, we can all. It's a little bit different with her because she's you know a lady, which means that the cultural context is a little bit different when it comes to like the perception of being pressured. But there are some general lessons here that are very learnable from this lady. Okay, I'm just saying. I feel like. You want someone with a little more experience. You're not into the young and dumb. Mm. You have no time to waste. You're like, mm -mm, I'm over it. <laughs> Do you find me attractive? You're very beautiful. Oh, yes. please. <laughs> I think it's her on as married men. Grandpas. Grandmas. They fucked after this. Come on, daddy, was I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> married men was wrong, very wrong. My turn ons are hands. Oh, oh, okay, okay, they're not overlapping. You have larger hands, mm -hmm. but they're outstanding hands. Thank you. I like, you know, the grip too. Like, do you like it when somebody grabs your ass? Should I haven't had my ass grab for donkey years. Would you grab mine? Y'all grab it, but... Oh, that's a nice That's hug. how you'd really <laughs> grab my ass? No, I'm not gonna like... Grab it. <laughs> I'm like, you want me to like grip no, it? No, I yeah. want you to grab it like you would if you would... Like, like I've seen specimen? you. Like specimen? <laughs> like that? Yeah, like <laughs> you didn't well, grab these? <laughs> sure. You know, like that. Redo. Yes. Who was the first person in chat who called um, closeted lesbian? Who was the first one? Somebody, we'll never know which chatter did, but somebody here did. And that person should be gifted a tier four sub from somebody else. 
That is a substantial ass. I love it. It's flat. It's worn out. That's why it's so flat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come here, Shaggy. I like you. You have a really cute, innocent thing about you. Do you like your t Phenomenal stuff. I do think this one's very cute. Your stuff is more taboo or like more vanilla? It can get very taboo. Harry Blood. Potter, yep, yep, yep. You look like a vampress. I've been yep. kind of saving this one for her. A nice crisp stick of celery. <laughs> like I feel like that would get you quivering in all the right places to hear <laughs> someone like sitting on the couch next to you, maybe like watching anime and chomping. You are wrong though. My turn on or fetish is blood. Oh! <laughs> How did you uh, come into this understanding of yourself? Um, I watched a lot of Twilight as a child. Okay, okay, so we were right on the fan fiction part since, uh, since yeah, okay, all right, okay. And a lot of action movies. <laughs> <laughs> I like the look of blood, I like the taste of blood, I like the feeling of it. Okay. Um, I'm also into pain, so like the slight, like the pain of like drawing blood I'm into. Final 80s girl covered in blood running through the forest is really cool and sexy. Alrighty, well nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Ah, f it, she's cute, I'd try it. What did she mean when she said like, when, when she was asked, is it extreme? And she was like, it can get extreme. Like, well, blood play is going to be considered extreme like from the get go. There's not, there's not like a non extreme version of blood play, you know, like by default, you know. Um, starts off pretty like paper, paper cut blood. Dude, fuck that. I would fucking paper cut blood, fuck that dude. That that shit is fucking sadistic. Holy shit. Can you fucking imagine? Like uh like like being a bottom. First of all, imagine being a bottom. Second of all, and then it's like, oh, let's do blood play. And they like set the knife down. They just bring out like a fucking um a crisp sheet of eight and a half by eleven. And they start getting you like in the in the webbing between your fingers, like the little like this part right here, like that. Jesus Christ. Like they get your in your urethra or something. Oh my god! Hold, I'm hurting myself here. Jesus. Ooh. Who did Paula get right? Ooh. And I got to peel her up. <laughs> did I get one right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I cannot read a bitch. I guess. How was this? It was great. It was eye-opening for sure. These people are great. They're so open and they're so full of life and fun and. <laughs> I, who could be mad here? Yeah, they're just great. That was great. You know, I love talking about sex and I love talking about taboo sex because we don't get enough space to just say out loud, I really want you to work out and come home smelly and then put your body atop my body and that be something that we can make space for in a way that's not shaming or like gross like i don't want anybody to ever feel bad about what makes them feel good so yeah i'm here for that when she, when I, I this is this is of medical curiosity when she dies i hope they find out like what part of her brain makes her cool so that we can learn from that and sort of crisper our way into making future humans cool too um so something truly miraculous going on in there great stuff great stuff well that was a a, a departure from um other subjects it was the celery. There was nobody. There were like um, there were uh, dummy uh, ones thrown in there. One more? No, not one more. And the celery was one of many red herrings in there. Your politics are so boring. Let's watch cat videos. Wow, wow, wow. True though. Um, God. Well, that all happened. Um, do I have any like? Do I have, do I have like a? Do we did we learn anything? Do I have like a lesson to share? Um. All gay men are are racist. There we go. We got it. Yeah, we found the lesson.